Enchanted Vacations and today I am super excited because we received our adventure boxes from Adventures by Disney and I'm excited to say that we are heading out on a adventure with Adventures by Disney to Costa Rica. So let's check out what's inside these boxes. So first things first, I do have two boxes, a larger box and a smaller box and you receive these boxes about two weeks before your adventure. Let's start off by checking out what is inside the larger box. Here we go. So the first thing we're seeing on the inside of the box, it says make memories. Um, and right on top, we have this pamphlet from Adventures by Disney. It just talks about um, getting prepared before your trip. And it talks about the Adventure Handbook, which is an overview of your itinerary, which I'll go over later in this video. Also, it looks like we have a couple goodies in here. So let's check that out. A little uh, string bag here what is inside oh nice it looks like a little or a rather large actually um, backpack it looks fairly waterproof so that's awesome it says adventures by disney on the front and the adventures by disney collection little emblem on the back that looks like something that would be super useful on our trip so I will probably be taking this one along. Oh, and there's some stuff in the pocket here. Let's see what's in there. We have a Adventures by Disney luggage tag. In these little envelopes are our gratuity envelopes. So there is a recommended gratuity per day. It's nine to eleven dollars per guest per adventure guide per day. So we will have two adventure guides on our trip which is really cool with adventures by disney um, and this is sort of a way that you can have your gratuity um, prepared in advance before your trip and they are usually paid in us dollars and all the information is on this gratuity envelope Next, we have our Adventures by Disney luggage tags to identify our luggage um, as we move along to different hotels on our journey. Okay, what's this one? This is really cool. Um, let's check it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think, how did they fit that into such a small space? Is that the full unzip? This is like a duffel bag. How do I unzip it? Come on. Oh, whoa. I can't believe that fit in that little box. It is a huge, huge, huge duffel bag. Obviously with the Adventures by Disney logos all over it. Lots of zippers lots of space inside it also looks like it has a nice waterproof material on the inside so that's really useful so there's also this handy postcard in the bottom of the box and it tells us how to find our adventure guide when we get to our arrival airport so we're going to be looking for the person that's holding the adventures by disney orange sign um, and they also provided us these orange straps that they'd like us to strap around our luggage so they can easily um, identify where our luggage is so they can have it ready for us when we arrive at our airport so the luggage strap is just right here bright orange says adventures by disney we'll have to put our information on it right there um, but yeah so they will collect our luggage when we get to the airport um, and all we'll have to do is find our adventure guides with their orange sign and we will be ready to go okay so now it's time for our second box all right so in here I have my Adventures by Disney lanyard where I will put my name on there um, for our trip. And then inside the box, we have our pins. So this is a pin for every day of our adventure. And what typically happened in previous Adventures by Disney 
trips, um, you would receive one of these pins um, on each day of your trip. So I guess instead of giving you a pin on each day of your trip, you will receive them all in advance. Um, so I think when I am on my trip, I'll probably add a new pin to my lanyard for each day as they would previously. So now that we've opened up our adventure boxes and you know where we're going, how about we take a look in the adventure handbook and I'll show you the itinerary for Costa Rica. Okay, so this is our adventure handbook for Costa Rica. These typically came in your adventure box um, in paper form, but now they are digital. So this is just the first page. It kind of gives us a welcome, a little bit of an overview and it tells me everything that's in the guide. Some travel information um, about Costa Rica, some health and safety information, the documentation that you require, um, gives you some packing tips and some travel tips as well. Um, and it also lets you know what to look out for when you arrive at your airport. Here's a snapshot of the daily itinerary and then also a little bit more about the destination, um, the destination at glance, fun facts, also some common words and phrases, which is really neat. Um, at the bottom here, you'll see there's information about our accommodations um, detail, about our meals, our transportation, information about gratuities, um, and then what's going to happen after our adventure. We also have some important phone numbers here in case of um, any travel delays. So let's dive in to the itinerary. Okay, so day one is our travel day. So we are traveling into SJO, which is in San Jose, and we are to arrive at our airport by 4 p.m. So we can be in time for the events of the evening. In San Jose, we will be staying at the Costa Rica Marriott Hotel Hacienda Belen, and we will be having a welcome dinner at that hotel. The hotel as you see here is set on a 30 acre coffee plantation. So hopefully uh, we get to take a minute and explore that while we're there. Moving on to day two, we will be in a Reno Volcano National Park and we will be doing some river water rafting and we will be taking a guaro sour making class so our breakfast lunch and dinner on this day is included and we will be moving over to the arena kioro suites and spa and the adventures by disney guides will be handling all of our luggage so all we have to do is leave it out for them and they will transport it to our new spot so there's going to be a bit of an orientation that day because it's our official first day and then we head over to our whitewater rafting adventure there is also an option if you don't want to go whitewater rafting there is an option to choose a serene float trip on gentle water so you definitely don't have to do the whitewater rafting if you don't want to and then we'll be heading over to our new hotel with the welcome drinks there and that's where we'll be having our sour making class so on this day we will be doing a wildlife guided tour we will have breakfast lunch and dinner included and we'll be staying at the same um, hotel that we were at previous day this day also starts off with breakfast at the hotel and then we take our transfer over to the wildlife guided tour and this is actually a boat tour so i'm really looking forward to that and then we have lunch in hacienda and then we transfer back to our hotel and then we have our own time at the hotel for the evening day four we are heading zip lining and also to the fortuna hot springs so we are at the same hotel and breakfast and dinner are included this day so we start off with breakfast at the hotel and then we take the sky trek to do our zip lining adventure um, there's also an option if you don't want to do the zip lining adventure there's an alternative activity which is hanging bridges so if you're not ready to do the zip line adventures you definitely don't have to 
and then we have lunch on our own so we can explore the area and choose a lunch spot there and then we head over to the hot springs which is something that i'm really looking forward to i heard they were beautiful and then we also get to enjoy a private dinner at the hot springs area on day five we have a chocolate rainforest experience and then we're transferring over to guanacaste to our new hotel el mangrove hotel um, breakfast lunch and dinner are included on this day of course again breakfast starts at the hotel and then we transfer to the chocolate rainforest once we're there we do the chocolate rainforest experience which is learning all about how chocolate is made um, which i'm really looking forward to and then we have lunch at a restaurant in the area and then we depart and head to our new hotel and we have dinner at our new location on day six, we will be at our new hotel and we will be having a private catamaran excursion this day, as well as our farewell dinner at the resort. This whole day will be spent at the resort. So we get to explore the resort, spend time on the beach and also enjoy the private catamaran excursion. And then of course our private farewell dinner um, and some entertainment before we have to say goodbye to everybody. Day seven, we are off with our transfers to Liberia International Airport. We can have a quick breakfast at the hotel and then take our transfer to the airport. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as we will be documenting our entire seven day itinerary with Adventures by Disney in Costa Rica. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Bye guys.